In this video, learn how to apply the required account segment syntax in Spreadsheet Server to fine-tune specific formulas within a worksheet. Spreadsheet Server syntax uses reserved characters and symbols to aid in filtering or ordering data results. Utilize the appropriate syntax to build a financial statement using GXL formulas. You can also use the syntax while creating and updating a query or business view formulas. Let's take a look at the common smart parameter syntax for retrieving specific values. First up, the wildcard syntax. For this video, let's use the account segment. Use an asterisk to retrieve all the values for the selected item. The formula builder defaults to an asterisk in the value fields. Now, let's look at the single value syntax. Enter a specific value to retrieve that value for the selected item. The partial wildcard syntax. Enter a value and then add an asterisk to retrieve all the values starting with that value. If you add the asterisk before the value, it will return all the values ending with that value. Similarly, typing in 4 asterisk 50 will return all values that begin with a 4 and end in 50, for example, 4050. And typing in asterisk 4, asterisk will return all the values containing 4. Let's understand range syntax. Enter a period between two values to retrieve all the values within that range. Finally, list syntax. Enter a comma between values to retrieve the list of those values. When a comma is used, the syntax must be enclosed in square brackets and spaces should never be used with any syntax. You can also have a combination of these aspects to modify your output. For example, typing in 4010, period 4050, comma 4060 in the square bracket will return all the values within the specified range, 4010 through 4050, and including 4060. To retrieve a range with an exclusion, use the forward slash sign. For example, typing in 4010 period 4050, comma, forward slash 4020 in the square bracket will return all the values within the specified range, 4010 through 4050, but exclude 4020. There may also be a partial wildcard and an exclusion or inclusion applied. For example, 4 asterisk comma forward slash 4020 in the square bracket. The result will reflect account values for all accounts that begin with a 4 and exclude account 4020. Next, we'll explore how to use spreadsheet server syntax to create dynamic financial statements. After you run a GXL formula, copy the row containing the formula and paste the copied data in the next row. Spreadsheet server syntax can be used in any segment. In this example, we will enter asterisk 2 followed by three asterisks to return every account that has 2 as the second digit. The GXL formula will automatically update based on the retrieved values. You can repeat these steps with different segment inputs. And there you have it. Apply wildcards, ranges, lists, and exclusions to account segments, which in turn manipulate the GXL formulas, accurately reflecting changes in the account balances. Mm -hmm.